In lesson 5-2 and 5-3, we're just going to do more practice of those function operations and compositions. Uh, there's only four problems here, so it probably won't take 30 minutes this time. Um, but it's just going to be instead of composing two functions together, we're going to compose three functions together. Uh, so we have the same exact equation or functions that were given to us as before f of x is x squared, g of x is 2x minus 1, h of x is x plus 2, and w of x is 2x squared plus 1. Uh, so for the starting for a, I just, like before, want to start with what's inside. So I'm going to start with the composition that's inside, and that is uh, h of f of x. So I'm going to start with right by writing what h of x is h of x is i know x plus two what i actually want to do is plug in f of x instead of x into that function so i have h of i'm replacing everywhere i see an x i'm replacing it with f of x so instead of adding x plus two i'm adding f of x plus two and then i want to replace f of x with what its actual expression is, and I know that's x squared. So instead of writing f of x, I'm writing x squared. I'm going to have h of x squared, and that's equal to everywhere I saw an x, I replaced it with x squared. So instead of x plus 2, I have x squared plus 2. And then uh, finally, I'm just going to write this as h of f of x I know is equal to x squared plus 2. That's what it's equal to. This is what I'm going to plug in uh, to g of x. So this is what I want to plug in to g of x. I have g of x now. I'm going to write over here. g of x. I know that it is equal to 2x minus 1. Well, everywhere I see an x, I'm actually going to plug in this. So everywhere I see an x, I'm going to plug in x squared plus 2. Um, that's going to give me g of, I'm just going to put parentheses wherever the x is, and I'm going to change it with x squared plus 2. So I'll have x squared plus 2, x squared plus 2. Instead of the x, I plugged in x squared plus 2. And that gave me let me just uh, color code this. That's what I did. And then I got G. Oh, well, I'm not going to write that. I'm just going to write the right hand side. So I have 2 time that I'm distributing to the x squared and the 2. So I have 2x squared plus 4 minus 1. I'm going to combine my constants together. And that's going to give me 2x squared plus 3. I'm just going to take this whole thing and rewrite it down here. I have g of h of f of x, and I need to close that parenthesis three times. Parentheses three times. Um, this is my final answer. And then I got to talk about, because it's an expression, I got to talk about what it looks like on a graph. Uh, since I see that x squared, even though it's not exactly like the other equations I've seen before, whenever I see an x squared, I know I have a parabola. I have a parabola, the domain, there is nothing I cannot plug into x, in for x. Um, since there's nothing I can't plug in for x, there's no restrictions. I have negative infinity to positive infinity for the domain. And then for the range, uh, because this is a positive number in front of the x squared, I know I have an upwards parabola. And my lowest y value will be the vertex, which will be included, so I put up a bracket. And the highest y value will be infinity. And I always put parentheses on infinity. Um, so this is the shape I'm going to have in the graph and the domain in the range. And then for b, I have f of g of h of x. So I'm going to start with the thing that's inside, the composition that's inside, which is g of h of x. And that's going to give, so I'm going to start with g of x write what that is. So g of x is 2x minus 1 
and then I know in that I am plugging h of x. So I'll be plugging in, and everywhere I see an x instead, I'm going to be plugging in h of x. So h of x. And I know that I want to write that as the expression, so I want to write it as x plus 2. So what I'm actually going to have is g of x plus 2, which is equal to 2 times x plus 2 minus 1. Everywhere I saw an x in the original uh, function, I changed it to x plus 2. And now I have, I'm going to distribute that 2. I'm going to have 2x plus 4 minus 1. I'm going to combine my constants together, and I'll get 2x plus 3 as my simplified answer. And I'm going to write that that is g of h. Whoops. Oh my gosh. What, what is that? What happened? There we go. Okay. g of h of x is equal to that. So that's... This is uh, my middle, my inside, and that's what I need to plug in to the outside function, which is f of x. So I'm going to, on the right-hand side, write f of x, which I know is x squared. And I know I want to plug in, everywhere I see an x, I'm going to plug in 2x plus 3. So I have f of 2x plus 3. Everywhere I see x, I'm going to put parentheses, and then I'm going to put inside 2x plus 3. 2x plus 3 is what I'm squaring instead of x. Everywhere I see an x, I replaced it with that expression, 2x plus 3. And I just want to do, and that gives me, when I do this on the right-hand side, I have 2x plus 3 times 2x plus 3. That means uh, I'm going to just do my little box here, and I have 2x and 3, and 2x and 3, separating my x terms and my constants. 2x times 2x is 4x squared. 3 times 2x is 6x. 2x times 3 is 6x. 3 times 3 is 9. And my final answer is 4x squared plus 12x plus 9. And I'm just going to rewrite what I had up here. So this whole thing, f of g of h of x, close that parentheses three times, is equal to that polynomial. Um, that is a quadratic equation. So I know this function is a parabola. I know it's an upwards parabola, uh, which will be important for when I'm doing my range. Um, it's a parabola for, because I see the x squared, the domain. There's nothing I can't plug in for x, so it's negative infinity to positive infinity. And then the range is uh, going to be the lowest point. Is, the lowest y value is the vertex, so and that's included. So I put a bracket, vertex, comma, uh, and it goes all the way to y can be infinity. That's the highest value. All right, and then for C, I'm doing, uh, I'm evaluating W of negative 3 first and then plugging that into F. So I'm starting with the W of negative 3. And I know W of X is 2X squared plus 1. Everywhere I see an X, I'm plugging in negative 3. So I have 2 times negative 3 squared plus 1, which gives me uh, 2 times 9 plus 1, or... Uh, that's 18 plus 1, which is 19. So I have w of negative 3 is 19. And I'm plugging that in to f, the, the function f of x. So I have f of x is equal to x squared. I'm plugging in then 19 in for x. So everywhere I see an x, instead I'm going to write 19. I have f of 19 is equal to 19 squared. And that's going to give me 19 times 19 is 361. So my final answer, I'm going to write, just rewrite what I have here. It's f of w of negative 3 is equal to 361. And then finally, I'm going to do a composition. 
uh, evaluate this composition of three functions. And I'm going to start with the insides and work my way out. So I have w of negative 1 first. w of negative 1. I know w of x is equal to 2x squared plus 1. That's w of negative 1 I want. So everywhere I see an x, I'm replacing it with negative 1. That gives me uh, negative 1 squared is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. So that's 3. w of negative 1 is 3. And then I'm going to take that and I'm going to plug it in to the next function that I have is h of x. So I have h of x next. So I'm going to do h of x I know is x plus 2. Everywhere I see an x, I'm plugging in 3. So everywhere I see an x, I'm plugging in what I evaluated w of negative 1 to be. And so what I'm actually going to have here is h of 3. Everywhere I see an x, or I saw an x before, I'm plugging in 3. So that's going to give me h of 3 is equal to 5. And then finally, I'm going to do that outside function, which is g of x, which I know is 2x minus 1. And I'm going to take 5, my answer uh, from doing h of w of negative 1. And I'm plugging it in. For x, I have g of everywhere I see an x, I'm replacing it with 5. And that gives me 10 minus 1, which is 9. So my final answer is that whole entire thing here. g of h of w of negative 1, close the parentheses three times, is equal to 9. And I'm finished.